evening everyone, here is the news in brief from Hafik Air TV, located in Ocean State, Nigeria. Buhari hails Adeluga at 70. The president, Major General Muhammad Buhari, retired as felicitated the chairman of Globalcom, Dr. Michael Adeluga Jr. on his 70th birthday. The president, in a statement by Senior Special Advisor on Media and Publicity, Mr. Femi Adeshino, in Abuja on Friday, saluted the entrepreneur whose charity and goodwill continue to inspire, attracting local and global recognition, including three national awards, Ho Ho Hen, C Ho Hen, and G C Ho Hen. Buhari affirmed the importance of Adeluga's visionary leadership on Nigerian's economy, setting the pace for investment in oil and gas, telecom, real estate, banking, construction, and hospitality, also lauded him for supporting entertainment, sports, and African culture within and outside the country. The president praised the philanthropist for his courage, humanity, and dedication to nation building. He also commended him for always placing the interest of the nation first and the affairs of the people by ensuring that all his venture and investment held human value of empathy, appreciation, trust, and respect. The president said his numerous national and global award are all deserved, including the highest individual honor for a private citizen in Nigeria, GCON, and many other honors from countries like Ghana and France. The president, Muhammad Buhari, prayed that Adeluga, who is Otumba Akbesin of Ijebuland, would continue to work stronger in earth, strength, and sound mind. Workers' Day, federal government declared Monday public holiday. To mark this year's midday, the federal government has declared May 1st as public holiday. The government also commended Nigerian workers for their hard work, diligence, and sacrifice. A statement yesterday issued by the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Interior, Dr. Shuhab Begore, quoted the Ministry of Interior, Rahuf Arabbashola, as saying that Nigerian workers were largely responsible for the greatness of the country. He enjoyed Nigerian workers to imbibe the culture of productivity, stressing that the end of work was productivity. Arigbeshola urged the nation workers to raise the bar of their trade in line with the president, Muhammad Bari led administration drive to upgrade the vehicle of governance and make all Nigerians derive maximum benefits for the nation. The minister assured Nigerians that the present administration was fully committed to the security of life and property of Nigerians and foreigners alike in the country and will not slow down in any areas as the administration wins down. He, therefore, urged Nigerians to be part of the nation's security architect by being vigilant and reporting suspicious individuals and activities to the law enforcement agencies nearest to them. The minister added that the security was everybody's responsibility, urging Nigerians to also make sure to use the N-Alert application on Android or iOS. Sudan Second phase of evacuation begins today. The Embassy of Nigeria in Sudan has said that the second batch of the evacuation of stranded Nigerians in Quattro to Egypt commenced on today. This was contained in a statement signed by Charge the Affairs H.Y. Gaku on Friday. The evacuation started on Wednesday. All those interested are expected to converge at Hal Razi University and International University of Africa, Mandani Street, as takeoff point, and individuals are required to come along with one bag alone. And that is all on News in Brief on Africa Edge. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all our social media handles at Africa Edge TV. I am Oladili Akbara.